race night in Hong Kong. A proud and passionate tradition dating back to the 1800s. Today it's a booming industry, with betting last season averaging nearly $170 million per meeting. I'm going to try my luck and see if I can win a bit, but most of the time I lose. <laughs> At the reins is the non-profit Hong Kong Jockey Club, which controls all betting and the city's two race courses, including Sha Tin, where more than 1,000 horses are stabled and taken out for early morning track work. The Jockey Club is Hong Kong's biggest single taxpayer and donates millions to charity. But it is facing its first dip in eight seasons, despite taking a record $13.9 billion in bets last year. No, the trend's not positive this season. We're about 1% to 2% down on, on, on where we were this time last year. Uh, there's various reasons for that. The principal reason is, of course, the economy. Um, but I would suggest that we are pretty resilient as far as, as, far as our turnover is concerned. While the number of people with betting accounts is up, the amounts being wagered have dropped. But the loyalty of the core fans and their love of gambling is seen as one of racing's biggest strengths here. I guess that's what's different about, about Hong Kong. People take the sport uh, pretty seriously. You know, if you look, walk around, uh, especially a working class area, on, on any day of the week, you will see people with form guide, newspaper form guides in front of them trying to pick the winner for the upcoming race meeting. With beer stands and live bands, Happy Valley packs in the tourists, expats and locals every week, despite the tightening of belts. Making the biggest winner of all, perhaps, the jockey club itself.